YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. This is going to be a trailer reaction to Midway. Midway trailer number two. So let's go ahead and uh, check this thing out. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. This came out on the 12th. So I guess we're calling it official trailer one instead of an actual teaser itself. So let's go ahead and check out Midway trailer one. But it's really trailer two. But anyway, let's go. Really excited for this movie, y'all. Really excited. Pearl Harbor story, baby. Who's this kid? He didn't think he could cut it. I figured it was just the usual jitters. I take him under my wing. He was wanting to be scared. Dragon uh, Dario Nahari. Really excited for this, the man. Greatest intelligence failure in American history. This can never happen again. I want to make it right. Oh, wow. Some of the boys still want to fight. The Japanese are planning something bigger. So, what's the target? We believe it's what Midway. Wait, you Shoot. Washington disagrees. Washington is wrong. Bro, Woody Harrelson look fire with hair. You lose. And Japanese on the West Coast. Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles. Oh, burn. We got the order to launch. Woo, Aaron Eckhart, bro, with that voice. So they know what it feels like to be hit. Talking about a couple dozen planes. It's all Japanese fleet. This isn't a fair fight. I don't know how to lead these men. They'll follow you anywhere. If you know that you came through, when people are counting on you. Be able to face anything. Oh, sorry. Woo, look at that. Ain't that some shit, man? That got me feeling some type of way. anything all right look at this cast luke evans nick jump jealous darren chris patrick wilson come on man aaron eckhart dennis quaid and woody harrelson man woody harrelson look fire with air bro shoot that boy looking like billy ho from white man can't jump days look at look at look. check him out throw a punch so they know what it feels like look at Woody Harrelson bruh shoot if I was gay you can get it bruh I was playing <laughs> jokes uh but yeah man this trailer looks fire so apparently uh my subscribers was re keeping it real with me like hey Jody man it's not really Pearl Harbor all the way it's uh midway right so I guess it's a it's a point where the United States kind of figured out like all right these motherfuckers is bullshit and they coming to attack us and they like the united states is like but we have no planes no resources so they got in their little 12 planes 13 planes dozen planes whatever they had and they flew on the midway to try to stop them from being a try to hold some type of defense before they got to pearl harbor i could be completely wrong there or it's after they bombed up pearl harbor and then they kind of chased him and did some shit at Midway after Pearl Harbor. I think it was before, though. What the freak do I know, right? Yeah. Um, the shit looked fire to me, and uh, I appreciate it very much so. It looks tight. The action looks good. The CG looks stellar at times, bruh. But then sometimes it looked kind of like, I don't know, you know, had me kind of pulling on my beard a little bit. So I don't really know about the CG. So that that's maybe not a finished product. I really can't speak on it. 
But the action looks on point in this movie. The action looks stellar. The character performances look like they will be grandeur. You have a, a terrific cast in here that will deliver the emotion, the hard lines. Aaron Eckhart's empowerment speech will get you riled up and make you feel good in the seat. Puff you up with that pride of, oh, I'm an American and they're, they're going to go out there and fight against the odds and overcome. And that feeling that you get tingly when your hair stand up on your arms and your chest and your booty hole if you got hair in your crack. Everywhere, hair standing up. And it feels good. And it looks like this movie is going to be not just an eye-pleasing, eye-candy type of film. Yeah, those are a dime a dozen. But this right here looks like it'll be motivational, uh, uh, feel good. And those are the type of movies I love. You know, Braveheart, my, my, the greatest movie of all time in my opinion, my number one film. It has everything in it. It has love, horror, horror uh, gore. Uh, uh, chaos, betrayal, action, camaraderie, brotherhood it has everything in it. Heart, passion, vigor. It has everything in it. And it looks like, you know, this movie might have. Hopefully, we'll see some type of bond between the guys. You know what I'm saying? You know, and then we'll see some 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 death. It'll be really really sad to see some guys people go. And uh, it's a really sad thing would happen. You know, Pearl Harbor and stuff like that. I can't even imagine what it was like. The thing that gets me is knowing that there's still people inside the Arizona underneath the water in the ocean. In the ocean, deep, deep, deep down. And there's still bodies up in there. And it's like, dang, we could really send spaceships and rockets to the moon. I seen some SpaceX shit. Let me tell y'all. I seen a, uh, was it SpaceX? It was something. It was a, a lot. It was NASA. It was a live stream four months ago or so where they sent rockets into outer space, right? <laughs> Took off and did the thing. And where they launched from, I ain't lying. You can look this shit up. I couldn't believe it. I wouldn't believe it unless I saw my own eyes. The very same rockets, it was like three of them, that took off and <laughs> ran up. Skinny long rockets. Think about think about the missiles on Superman 1978 where he had to chase them down. They look just like those, but skinnier. They took off, went out of space, and they came back and landed on the same on the X, bruh. They could literally shoot a rocket out of space, make it dock somewhere, and then come back and land. I mean, the rocket really just. I couldn't freak on the spot. You can pinpoint land a rocket on. But you can't get a big ship, build a ship to go get all this shipwreck shit. You know how much sucking treasure. You know, get them soldiers out of there, bro. Get that Arizona up out of there. Go get, build a big, huge helicopter and get five of them beaches and pull that motherfucker up out of there, bro. You can't go down deep enough in the ocean and shit. That shit is weird. You can go up, but you can't go down. Come on. That's the type of stuff I think about. That has nothing to do with exactly what this trailer is about. But, hey, I, I keep it 100, man. But, anyway, so what we do here on Jordan's Corners, we grade trailers. And grading this trailer, keeping it 100, keeping it a buck. Uh, this trailer made me excited to, it, it checks all the boxes for what a trailer should do, right? Visually stunning. Great cast. Intriguing, interesting, and does it make you want to see? That's the number one goal of a trailer. Does it make you want to see the movie more than before you came in to see the trailer? The answer is yes. And for that reason, this gets a solid A minus, baby. Yeah. A minus from your boy, Jody Joe. It deserves it. We will need it. Thank you guys so very much for watching this trailer reaction slash discussion. I hate just reacting to trailers. I need to talk about them. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out this thing. Deuces.